Welcome back to my channel, Mr. Andy. Now, we are going to learn about new topic, it's called infographic. And here guys, I think this is the new topic for you, uh, because last year, we haven't learned about it. But it's okay. That's why I come here, we are gathered together here, so that we can discuss and also we can learn more about infographic. So now, before I start about giving explanation, now I want to tell you about the highlight, what we are going to learn. It is definition, purpose, comprehending infographic, the graphic, how to read that, and more example we are going to discuss for today. So let's take a look about the definition. So from the name, we can say infographic which is info and graphic. So, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, infographic yeah, or information graphic, it is a visual representation of information or data. Not only information, guys, but also the data. The data can be like the number and also the text. You can say also, infographic is like the collections from imagery, from charts, and also minimal text. Minimal text in here means like short, to give understanding about the information or the topic. Okay? So the purpose about why the people or you need to write about infographic the purpose is so that you can tell a story visually that is easy to understand and also grab the reader's attention about what you are going to say from the data. Okay? Next. So for the comprehending infographics, uh, before you uh, can say, um, tell more, explain more about infographic i can say that there are some comprehension that you need to know about infographic the first one oh no that is called scd scd which is s for structure c is content and d is design let's discuss one by one scd strategy let's start from structure okay if you see the infographic yeah Actually, there is the structure, okay? The structure, which is about the chronological, is it about chronological? What will be the cause and effect? Is it about the information organized the person by the person or event or the product? Or you can say, does the author use the data or percentage to organize information? Yes, that's gonna be like the structure about infographic. Yeah. So before you start it, you need to know about the chronological, what will be the cause and effect, what will, uh, which is that this is designed by the person or event or product. You should know about that one. Okay. And then next, the content. From the name, content in Bahasa means easy. Yeah. What will be the content of your infographic? So in here, content include about the main claim and evidence the author is using to support it okay okay and the next what will be uh, where will be like the information come from is it really reliable and current information so that's why if you want to say something in the first for example a topic a you need to focus with a do not focus with a uh, like b c d g f t or anything yeah blah 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 Focus about A. Okay? So most infographics chunk information into this digital. Okay? So we can say overview, overall, specific detail. That's gonna be about your content. Yeah? Next, design. For infographics, design is very important so that uh, you can grab the reader's attention. So according to the explanation, we can take a look from here. Design, yeah, 
you can make like how is the typography used yeah uh, you can say like maybe italic bold face or charm yeah and then the second you can say about the colors yeah the colors used in infographic is very important okay like you use the, the specific colors yeah to grab the attentions the, the reader attention okay and also for the design spacing alignment what space is used yeah it's very important for the design yeah so finally in the second and uh, the last uh, in the uh, we can say in the design yeah icons numbers image is very important to tell about your message yeah to highlight about some important message in your infographic all right yes that's all about uh, scd not sdc yeah <laughs> in our school we have sdc not like that but scd uh, if you like telling about infographic just remember about scd all right next example yes this is one of the example of infographic very beautiful right yeah you can say like in this part you find about the imagery minimal text right and also about um, charge yeah yes you you combine into the one paper okay one page all right next for the next part i'm going to tell you about the graphic yeah you know that kinds of graphic which is the first one bar charge pie charge and also line charge okay so for the bar charge you're going like uh, uh oh, but before it they are very different right bar charge in here just like be like this like in here cube is it cube i think this is cube, right yes and then in the pie chart uh you can see like really like pie and this is like in the percentage yeah and then in the line chart you can take a look like this like there's line and also with dot 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 to connect each other to explain about uh the changing time to time okay next let's discuss about bar chart oh this is the example yeah for the bar chart for how you can read it you need to know you need to read about from vertical to horizontal guys yeah from vertical to horizontal okay before you start to uh, write or even to read that need to know about how to read that there is from vertical to horizontal okay before you're going to the vertical to horizontal better you need to know about what is the, like the title nah, what is it about okay and then go to the vertical to horizontal okay now let's take a look about the opening so from this chart yeah we can say about this chart uh, the bar chart show about the number of overseas students enrolled in second year okay so in the first paragraph usually you tell about what is about from this chart okay you can say you can say you can use about these phrases i can see yeah these sentences i can say that to start about your opening your first paragraph okay you can use this graph show we can say this chart shows blah 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 yeah you can take a look at this example according to the bar chart blah 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 students we can say students from the four european country yeah here let's take a look about this one how many country in here one two three and four five there will be five country there are five countries in here and then after that yes yeah need to know about what is about in this chart okay after that you need to know about 
uh, read it from vertical to horizontal. All right. Yes, this is gonna be the first paragraph in your uh, writing. Okay. The next one. Before you start it, to the next paragraph, you need to know about important vocabularies in your writing. You can use this one. It's like to use about your uh, verbs, adjectives, adverbs. Yeah. You can use ly in your adverbs. Yeah. But this is not a must, yeah. This is not a must. It depends on your graphic or your result. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look in the paragraph two. After we uh, discuss about something, uh, where's the pen? Why I cannot see the pen in here? Okay. Let's take a look about paragraph two. In the paragraph two, you can discuss about uh, interesting things contained in the bar chart. For example, you can discuss about the highest and the lowest number the highest and the lowest number okay okay from this overall Sweden has the largest number of enrolled students like 17 and Syria the smaller that is five France and Spain both have 12 students Germany has 11 yeah you can like discuss the highest first and then the second the lowest for the, for the paragraph 3 you can discuss about each data based on the large group that is focus that is that, that's the focus of each bar on the chart yeah jadi di sini uh, we can say why i'm talking in bahasa ya okay oh so uh, you can discuss about each data each data yeah for example you can take a look about this students from all of uh, all five countries are enrolled in cad but more females are taking now so more into the specific because uh, from before that right uh, they're talking about uh, the the students but in here they're talking about the gender right you can take a look about this one the, the gender right yes they're talking about the gender in here yes more into the specific one okay so next in the paragraph four okay this is paragraph four okay you can explain further explanation of the large group yeah you can take a look about this example yeah as for the photography options uh you, uh, you can say more females than males are enrolled from every country except syria okay all right but before it you have to know about the color guys okay the color like this this is like the it is gray or this is black yeah yes yeah to know about what is about okay all right so remember guys you cannot make your own explanation or i mean your own uh conclusion yeah you need you just tell about what is in the charge okay guys what is in the charge if not that's gonna be not valid okay for today guys thank you so much for your attention if you have any question just comment keep healthy and be happy driving in that's all for today guys thank you so much for your time if you have any question just comment and direct message okay and thank you so much god bless you all bye bye